Okay, here I am. I'm right outside the entrance to Death Valley National Park. Well, not right outside it, but I'm at this stop in the town of Beatty, Nevada. And I'm on my way to go explore a ghost town called Rhyolite. How do you like this motel over here? Okay, I'm here. I'm parked on the side of the road, and as I feared, there is no reception of any kind here on my phone, but I am going to get out and explore, so let's go. The town of Rhyolite, named after a type of volcanic rock found in this area, was a gold rush boom town that sprang up quickly in 1905 and only existed for about a decade. In 1906, the town was purchased by Charles M. Schwab, a steel tycoon from Pennsylvania. Schwab's ownership was the reason Rhyolite grew so quickly and had so many amenities that other boom towns didn't, like paved sidewalks. If you've seen my previous video about Oatman, Arizona, another gold rush town, you may have noticed that Oatman still has some of their wooden sidewalks. Rhyolite, on the other hand, had phone and telegraph lines, streetlights, plumbing, and a ton of businesses and services, including police and fire departments, a hospital, a school, banks, newspapers, and saloons. It even had its own red light district up the road. By 1907, the town's population is estimated to have been around 5,000 to 8,000. But by 1910, the mine here was already operating at a loss, and the town folded quickly after that. The businesses left, the train stopped running here, and in 1916 the electricity was turned off and the power lines were removed. In 1920 the census reported 14 residents, and the last remaining resident of Rhyolite died in 1924. This is the schoolhouse from the other side. It's not too hot out, but it's pretty warm in the sun. But I am wearing my combat boots because there's things out here, okay? I don't know what these people in like shorts and flip-flops are doing. See, what did I just say? about stuff being out here. <laughs> Today, this is a historic site managed by the Bureau of Land Management, and it's one of the country's most photographed ghost towns. It's been featured in several movies, including the 2005 movie, The Island. The music video for one of the most iconic songs of the 90s was also filmed here. And if you don't know which one I'm talking about, see if you can guess before the end of this video. We'll not be using those. This is the train depot, and uh, it's the most well-preserved building here. We'll walk around the other side of the train depot. Um, I don't know what that shack is down there. I can try to go see. That up there, I believe, is an actual house where somebody lives.
mattress springs. The reason there are so few buildings actually left here is because building materials in the desert are so scarce that most of the buildings were disassembled so that the materials could be used elsewhere. So this was actually like used as a house or something. And I read that it was pretty common to see train cabooses used as buildings because like I said in the desert, there's a scarcity of building materials. Here's the other side of the train depot. Oh my god, there's so many things buzzing around me. Oh, another lizard. I saw a snake just now while I was driving. I wish I'd captured it but it just slithered really fast right across the road in front of me. <laughs> I don't know if it was a rattlesnake. It was far away and it looked like a small snake. It sucks that I can't go right up to it, but I totally understand why they don't want people touching it. <laughs>
Okay, we have one more thing to see out here, and it's right across the street. The Goldwell Open Air Museum is an outdoor collection of sculptures and art installations. There's also a barn on the property, which is used to host a yearly arts festival, as well as an artist residency program that allows artists to use the barn as a private studio. I read that these were made by draping plaster-coated burlap over models who then had to stay still until the plaster dried enough to stand up on its own. So of course I have to do the thing that I saw pictures of everybody doing online. By the way, I was worried that it might be really creepy to come here by myself, but it's really not. Like if you're thinking about coming here by yourself, I mean, I had to drive through nowhere to get here, but it's really like a tourist stop. It's right outside the entrance to Death Valley National Park. And this is, Rhyolite is a park site managed by the BLM, so, there's a bunch of people stopping here and stuff. There's some other people here. It's, it really doesn't feel creepy. What is this, like a Lego lady? Look, you can see the chairs and stools inside of these that they were draped over. Okay, I think I've seen everything that I wanted to see and it's getting hot <laughs> and I'm out of beverages. So I think I'm gonna head out of here, stop again at that rest stop to get something to drink on the way home and head back to Vegas. Gross. Oh, and if you still haven't guessed the iconic music video that was filmed in Rhyolite, well... Yeah.